Okay, here we are again. We're well, getting fairly close to the end now. Um, what I've done off while we've been offline, I've sanded all the edges of the wing around here. I've sanded the top down to take out some of the ripples that were left in there. Um, the tailplane, I've generally just sanded the, the whole plane to tidy the whole thing up. So now I'm going to cut out the, the hatch. Nice sharp blade. Um, my pliers will snap the end off and start. <coughs> start off with a nice sharp blade. Uh, I'm going to go down the marks that we we put on there. Freehand. All the way around. Now, the only thing that's holding this is this this former in here, and hopefully that's why I actually cut across partially um, on the former, so that hopefully I can just trim through the former there like that, and it will come off. So the cut I put in there partially um, was there, um, so I've come almost there so we can trim that off now. It just made it a, a lot easier to snap away, <coughs> not super important but it's perfectly in line with my cut. But it certainly made it a lot easier to snap off um, to get it out. Now it looks like 
a little mistake again on the pattern here. I think I may have to just bring this angle back a bit because the former is right in line there. I really didn't want that former to be there. Um, <clears throat> I may have to, it depends where the battery is going to go, um, but I wanted this top to overhang that former a little bit um, so I could make a, a little nib on the um, on the hatch to slide it under uh, but I'll we'll have to maybe look at a different way of doing that uh, yeah, that's closed in a little bit we may have to just widen that out with uh, with this I've got not that much glue down there so I can actually open it up a little bit to suit the, the cutout. It's, it's come on in. It's uh, it's let itself come in a little bit. But that's fine. It's uh, it's looking pretty good. Cleaning these up. Because what I'll probably do is what I like to do, and that's to put a little a little bubbler inside the edge here and here, in fact all around. Um, I do like to do that because it not only does it strengthen the edge of the fuselage, or the hatch cut out, <coughs> it actually gives the, the hatch somewhere to slip onto as well. <coughs> so what I'll do a bit of scrap step <clears throat> I like this little balsa strip, I don't know if you've ever seen one. It uh, you can actually cut it with a ruler naturally, but my balsa strip it does it and it keeps the edges nice and square. Straight edge first. <coughs> On the sander. It's easy to sand the edges whilst it's in a, a big piece and it's the same sand the edges when it's in a tiny piece. So I'm going to do the, the doublers. Probably, let's see, about, probably about 15, 15 mil wide. That way I can get sort of 10 mil into the body and have 5 mil sticking up. That cuts off a very nice straight edge Ok, 
Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slip these in in the bottom here. glue these in and leave them sticking up around about five mil, quarter of an inch. Again, I could use any sort of glue for gluing these in. I could use um, CA glue, or I could use um, Yuhu, whatever. Um, it's just quick. Well, it, it's probably as quick to use uh, CA as it is to use hot glue, but anyway. Probably been a little easier um, if I'd have left these out until I'd got the floor in. It would have given me a little bit more room to work um, before I stuck them on. But oh well, it's done now. Just going to widen this up a bit. I've got three to glue down there. If there isn't much there. I'm 
to fit that on there, hold it there, and the glue, when the glue dries, it should take that shape and hold that shape, provided it doesn't glue itself to the front. <laughs> Tape around that to hold it in position while it dries. <coughs> the reason it moved in is because, as you can see, this tends to twist a little bit, the, the side panel twists. And so when we've cut the relief off this, um, it's naturally gone back to the position it wanted to sit. <coughs> so hopefully by putting some glue on there and just holding it in that position for a little while till the glue, glue hardens, um, it should hold that position then. fitted a little, um, use a little bit of scrap Epron and I've just made a little doubler in there to fill in that gap and, and also strengthen this this back a bit now there's no movement it was tending to flex a little bit there's no movement now it's, uh, it's quite solid I will actually put a, fill, uh, put a bit of fill in there although they look quite nice um, I will put a bit of filler in that later. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this finished. I won't be doing a lot more finishing off on this. Um, I'm going to put the gear in it next, put the tail planes on, um, attach the um, <coughs> uh, attach the uh, linkages. And, uh, and basically finish it off ready to fly um, and we've made it before I do any, uh, any sort of finishing off at all uh, any more finishing off anyway and I probably with this bottom hatch I'll probably for the test flight I'll probably just tape that back into position pop the EDF in there and then Take that in position. Uh, probably this there's not a lot of point in making a elaborate um, uh, latching or removable because it's not a thing that's going to have to be removed a lot on this because I would probably leave the um, this uh, EDF pod in there. Saying that, um, it's, it's easy enough to, if I take that in with um, packaging tape, take the hatch on, uh, it's easy just to run a knife through the packaging tape and lift it off should I want the uh, EDF pod for another project. Okay, um, I've, I've cut out the, <coughs> the battery uh, floor panel. Um, if now this is going to have to be trimmed down, um, again I'll probably modify the plan a little bit because I don't think it really needs to go into this nose, um, we'll see when I put the uh, battery and the EDF and everything and see how far uh, well, like the battery needs to sit. If you make this out of um, um, foam board, I highly recommend, if you can get hold of a bit of um, Depron, to use Depron for the battery floor. The reason I say this is because if you're using 
as I do. I use Velcro and I use the blue Velcro from Hobby King. Uh, it's it's it got a very, very good adhesive on there um, and it sticks on there. And if I reuse it, I can use a bit of hot glue or uh, CA or whatever uh, you who glue to glue it onto the different. If you try and glue it onto the um, the foam board, if you glue it on with the paper on, it simply pulls the top layer of paper off. So you glue it on again and it pulls another layer of paper off. So you remove the paper and the damn stuff won't stick at all to the um, uh, to the foam board. I really don't know why I've really not had any success at all uh, sticking Velcro to foam board. So. Um, I will, wherever I use foam board, I'll be using Depron for the, uh, the battery board. Okay, let's uh, see if this has held its shape a bit better now. Um, yep, it has. It's coming in a little bit, but these, um, these little doublers will help to hold it because there's nothing inside there. There's only that one former. In there, I could put another former in there if I wanted to hold it in place. But I'm sure the um, once I put a lip under there for it to go, and then I um, I'll probably use um, a magnet at the back just to hold that on. Um, I can't see that uh, it's going to need another doubler there. Okay, let's see if we can. Now this was oversized anyway, so we need to trim it to size. Probably not the easiest trick in the world. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of fiddling to uh, to get this in. As I said, it probably would have been a lot easier if I'd have left these two side pieces out to wrangle this damn thing in there. Probably not going to be an easy trick to get it in there. I may have to put it in, in two halves. Um, <coughs> maybe what I should do is look at putting a little former in there um, that could be fitted in now uh, for the, the floor to rest on. And then we could simply do this in two halves, put one half in, and then put the other half in and make it to me. So I might do that. We'll try that. Um, I'll cut a couple of formers from the existing formers uh, and then come back.